Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today's vlog is all about my shopping haul that I've bought throughout the past few weeks. I've got a try and haul, shop with me and a sit down chat for you guys. So get comfy and I hope you enjoy. We are gonna be diving straight in with the try-ons, starting with this beautiful blue dress. I really love the off the shoulder look and the flow of this dress and the pattern is just beautiful. It tucks you in at the waist and gives you a lovely flattering curvy shape. You can also wear the sleeves up to give you a different look and it adds a different shape to the back as well. I just, oh, I really love this dress and I can't wait to wear it. My next dress is definitely going for a more formal look and it gives me very Kate Middleton vibes. I think it's very classy. You can choose to wear the sleeves up or down and it comes with a tie to do up around the waist. I love the pattern on this dress as well and the high V neckline shape also adds to the elegant look. It would be perfect for a date night or if you have a family event, social event coming up. Perfect look. This dress is definitely one of my favourites, especially if you're going on holiday. I absolutely love the tassels on the sleeve and I think it makes the dress. Also, the pattern is oh, it's lovely. I love the colours. I'm not 100% on the collar. I think it could have been done more differently, but to me, it doesn't matter that much. Again, I think this is perfect for holidays or it can make a great evening dress, whether it's going out for cocktails with the girls or just out for a nice meal. This dress is great as it can be used day and night. The V neckline is perfect and the flower pattern is just so pretty. Again, this is one that comes with a tie up to wrap around the waist and it also comes with a zip on the back. It is a lovely lightweight and flowy dress and can be dressed up with heels or down with sandals, just perfect for those summer or spring days. Next, this dress is giving me very oriental vibes, which I'm low key loving. This dress could be used as a cover up for around the pool or for a day event. I really like the vibrant colours and the tassels that run down the neckline. They're also featured in this beautiful long and flowing sleeve as well. With the pattern being so bright as it is, I definitely think that it makes the perfect holiday addition. This dress is also a dress that could be used for formal or relaxed events. Again, I love the floral print, the colour and the lightness of the material. The only thing that bothers me is the neckline and how deep it goes. It doesn't sit right on me so it either needs to be taken in or I will need to wear a vest top underneath so that it, the girls don't pop out. It has long sleeves and I love the cuff at the bottom of them. I will definitely be wearing this at all points of the day as I think it's just a good all-round dress. My next dress is giving me very wedding guest, engagement party guest vibes or again if you have a date night at a nice restaurant. It is beautiful and I love the sleeves and the cuff at the end again. I think it just adds to the elegant look. The fabric is not that thick, so perfect for the spring, summer sun. It buttons up at the front, so you can choose how high you want the collar, which is a great added bonus. And it gives a different look as well with the collar up or down. Like the others, it comes with a tie for your waist, cinching you in to give you a beautiful curvy figure. The final dress is a much more daytime, more relaxed feel. Perfect for sandals, for a lunchtime catch-up, for a coffee date, or even to wear around the house, which I'll do on a warm day. I love the summery pattern, which still gives me holiday vibes with the pretty colours. There is a string tie up at the back, which I believe makes a lot of difference instead of just being a plain, normal back of a dress. I think it's very comfortable, very lightweighted, and I know I'll be wearing this a lot this year. As well as dresses, I also got a few loungewear bits for you, beginning with this lovely dark green hoodie and joggers. They are so soft and so comfortable and also come with an adjustable zip so you can wear them up or down. <laughs> That's too far. It comes with pockets and a tie, but that is just for show so you can't actually tie it up i'm just obsessed with this color i wear these a lot so i look forward to relaxing in them with a nice cup of tea on a day-to-day -day basis we then move on to this very plain nude hoodie it is oversized and it is just perfect for those rainy spring summery days or throughout the year it is so soft not too thick in the fabric and again perfect for those lazy days and also as a throw on if you've got a busy day. I don't think you can beat an oversized hoodie. Finally, we end with this cream jumper. I love cream as it goes with everything, jeans, joggers. It also comes with this half a face pattern, which I chose because I have very similar artwork in my bedroom and I like that style. That is the end of the try on haul. So we will go and have a look in TK Maxx and I will see you afterwards. The 
shadows of this quiet town I see you there, your feathers on the ground Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world What's in a life you never could affirm Even if you never flown before You can take a chance and try once more Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down You can still take five Although you're earthbound Okay, so that was the end of the try on haul section of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I always love a try on vlog. I thought I'd just stay in this as it saves time trying to get dressed again. Before we start, I know that I've just shown you some very summery dresses and you might have noticed that my decor is very wintry. It is because I'm filming this in January. We're going on a winter holiday next month. So everything that I have actually bought is for that holiday and then for the spring and summer seasons afterwards. So I thought whilst I bought them, might as well show you. I got quite a few requests for hauls in future vlogs so I am delivering. The next part of the vlog is going to be more of a sit down chat and I'm going to show you things that I've bought from TK Maxx, Primark and then a couple more things I bought from Team U. I've tried to kind of section them into the same kind of products so I hope that they're all bunched together right for you. We will carry on with the holiday theme and the summer theme. I've bought three pairs of shoes from Team U and I've never bought shoes from them before so I was a little bit hesitant as to what the quality of them were going to be like but I have to admit I am very impressed. So firstly I bought this pair of little sandals so like the flip-flops go around the pool down to the beach in. They've got a lovely little bow on the front and I thought I'd choose this colour because it goes with everything and I have to admit the quality of them is actually really good. They're very soft I know sometimes that when you buy new shoes and you take them on holiday, if you haven't worn them in, they can rub, can't they? Especially here and here. I'm hoping that because they are as soft as they are, that they're not going to rub. Well happy with them. The next pair I bought are these beautiful little going out sandals. We are going to Morocco and I thought they gave quite a little bit of like a Moroccan vibe and I just thought that they are so pretty. So you slide your ankle into this bit and then your foot goes here and obviously your big toe goes here. And again, pretty good quality. I would say definitely on the Primark level. Pearls and the little studs, they're definitely going to sparkle in the sun. So I'm not going to lie. I was very lucky to get these because they only had a few left and one left in my size. I know with Team you do have to shop about and sometimes wait for the deals to come on. I do think that they are definitely worth their price. And I am most likely going to go back and buy some more. The last pair of shoes I bought, I don't really wear high heels anymore and especially as a mum going on holiday, running after a child in heels is not going to be fun. However, I have bought these beautiful pair of wedges, very plain, very simple because in that way they will match all the dresses that I've just bought. Again, the quality of them is really good. They are so soft. And I used to wear heels a lot higher than this when I was younger, but this is definitely going to be the highest heel that I'm going to wear for a while. Even if these just last me one summer, they're going to get a lot of decent wear out of them. Very happy. So as I've mentioned now, probably a thousand times about going on holiday. I've heard about these before and I thought might as well check them out. I've bought this travel set and it's supposed to fit into your suitcase and help you designate different bits in your suitcase. So it's a lot more organised. I will be doing a pack with me next week. So if you are interested, please stick around because I am very excited to use this. How my life has changed to being so excited about how I can organise a suitcase. But it comes with one, two, three, four, five. It just keeps going. Six seven little compartments in it. My mind is already buzzing with what I'm going to be putting in what bag. 
I am becoming so sad. Okay, so moving on to the wonderful TK Maxx, but sticking with the packing theme, I've also bought this wonderful little travel bag. I do have another travel bag upstairs, but it's getting to the point where it's been on quite a few holidays. So for no time like the present to get another one. The other travel set will be for clothes, shoes, all that kind of stuff. This will be for wash stuff, makeup, I didn't realise they came out. So inside of it, there are three different compartments. So you can either have it just as two separate compartments or have the other two little cases in between. It is made by, let's see if we can try and pronounce this one, Lohenheide? Lohenheide? It was actually in their sale. I got it for £14. So at the time of this vlog going out, it may not still be in shops. There are many others to choose from and many very similar to this. As you will have seen in my autumn haul, in my Christmas haul, if you are not new here, you know how much this girl loves a candle. I contained myself. I've already blasted through all the candles that I've got. Because we're in that kind of mismatch of winter and spring, I haven't actually gone for any spring scents yet because I generally do feel like it's a little bit early. March is my beginning of springtime. That's when I start decorating the house for spring. But you'll be very excited to know that I have bought some candles. Three of the ones that I have bought, I've bought purely because once the candles have gone, I can actually use the pots that they're in or the tins that they're in, whatever they are. But this candle here is not. This is just for burning. So I picked up sandalwood and myrrh. I do love a dark candle. It's a very masculine scent. It does smell like men's aftershave or men's body wash. I don't know. I just... Doesn't everybody love the smell of a man? A washed man, not an unwashed man. You know what I mean. So yeah, it is sandalwood myrrh scented. The burn time apparently is 33 hours, which I fully believe because with TK Maxx's candles, it is very rare that you get one that doesn't burn. My next candle, oh, I love it, is in this absolutely gorgeous ceramic pot. It's got, oh, did you hear that? Just in case you didn't hear it. Mm. It reminds me very much of cauldron and pots and pans. <laughs> if that's the look that you're going for. I just think to store stuff in, but once it's been used as a candle, that it is so heavy and very, very sturdy and who doesn't love that sound also? I'm just gonna put whatever in this. But it also smells so nice. It's a free wick as well. And it is in the scent sandalwood tobacco. As you can see, I've gone for a theme. I love tobacco scented things. One of my favorite perfumes of all time is the Tom Ford. Is it, it's either tobacco vanilla or vanilla tobacco, something like that. But as soon as I smelt this, this literally smells like the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla whatever so this one funnily enough is only 25 hours I say only but I burn candles a lot and I burn them for probably longer than they say you can burn them but I'm just a little bit amazed that this is 25 hours and this is 33 hours either way I'm really enjoying the kind of star signy look at the moment again I'm gonna use for something completely different I'm very into my tarots and oracle cards and all that kind of stuff if you watched any of my vlogmas episodes you've seen that I opened my gemstone advent calendar I saw these and the fact that it had the different phases of the moon on there and all the different star signs and all that kind of stuff I just loved it and again that one just nearly broke oh this one is white must and again I'm going for very like thick scents this time I just loved it and again it's another pot that I can use also sticking with that theme again it's another very I don't even know what the word is what is the word for this kind of design I know that there is a word for these kind of designs but 
for the life of me I can't remember what it is and this is eucalyptus and mint our family has a thing about eucalyptus so I saw it and thought I can't not pick it up once I've used this one I'll probably put this in our bathroom because the color is very similar to the colors that we have up there moving on from the candles we're gonna go to wash stuff so from talking about lovely scented men we're gonna go to lovely scented women firstly I bought some Bayless and Harding body wash again I will be taking this on holiday with me it is the cleanse and glow with vitamin c and i am gonna really badly mess this name up niacinamide niacinamide it smells lovely and i really can't wait to use it we then move on to this little aloe vera soap this was in the sale this was only two pound 20 but they did have so many other soaps that are very similar to this as well and it's made in portugal nice and lastly in our little body wash section I've gone for these pink gin bath salts. I had to go for these purely on the basis because they had juniper berry, pomegranate and lime in them. If you've ever played Skyrim and then seen the meme where the guy goes juniper berry, juniper, juniper, juniper berries, I just, I saw that and I was like, I have to buy this. So I will be looking forward to having a bath with these in. Moving on to hair stuff. I bought these lovely little pink linen hair grips, which have come as a set of, that didn't make any sense, did it? I have bought these beautiful hair clips that come in a set of four. So just these little, I can't get them off because I haven't cut them yet. They have all these beautiful different little colors on them. And I thought, shining in the sun they're gonna look lovely i do love a big crocodile clip so looking forward to using them next i have picked up a set of four of these beautiful little bows they are little clip-in bows so if you've got your hair up half up half down you can have them at the back i don't know you can have them in a bun i don't know i always like to see people in bows and i saw them there and i thought that's a very nice holiday thing and then Finally, I've got two more bits. I found a collection from Olivia and Jackson that just, they had so many beautiful things. So I'll start off with this little earring set, which I thought was so cute. I really like just a very simple little hoop anyway. I, I mean, I have to admit, I like any kind of jewellery. Sometimes I'm feeling very massive hoop. Sometimes I'm feeling study and sometimes I'm feeling little hoop, but I have never seen little hoops that have little studs like these. The top stud is actually black and the rest are all diamante, whatever you want to call them. I love them. As soon as I saw them, I love them. And that went in my basket first. I believe I picked these up in the sale. They were £10. They have so many beautiful little bits and bobs there. And then I also bought, in remembrance of my dear old man, who is no longer with us, sadly, I bought this little bee pendant because she loved bees and she had one very similar and I thought I can't I can't not buy it so I bought this in remembrance of my nan sorry to get a little bit sentimental there but we are now heading over to our Primark section I have not really bought that much else from Primark just a hell of a lot of jewelry but firstly I bought this little beach towel I have to admit I really should go back and get another one for Alfie he has got a beach towel already but it's been used a quite a few times and it's getting old so I bought this very standard beach towel they had plenty of different colors there I chose green that is what it is and then Primark jewelry I always end up buying a lot because I don't go into town very often I often wear little Primark studs little Primark hoops and I change them probably every week I don't know if you're supposed to change them more than that I don't know but I normally change them every week so because I only go into Primark probably every two or three months I always buy a lot of jewelry so the jewellery that I've bought are quite samey. So I've got this pack, this pack, and also this little pack. I feel like with Primark's jewellery, they don't change it that often. So I've definitely had these before. I don't think I've had these ones, but I've definitely had these sets before. Literally, as soon as I've worn them, I chuck them. Because they. I always find after about a week, they all start to go a little bit like green and funny and I've then picked up a set of different size golden hoops you'll realize as we go along the hoops are getting bigger and then <laughs> a different set of different hoops these are a little bit thicker though these are a thicker hoop to these so they're just basically a different style of hoop and then silver and gold and then if you think the hoops couldn't get any bigger they do oh 
that one I don't want to play. Yep, yeah, just some really big dangly hoops. I really like a top bun with hair back and then like big hoops. I love that look. Finally, to end the Primark haul again, just some very, very simple little necklaces. I find with Primark's jewellery, at the moment they have them ones that look like they're a load of little separate necklaces and they're not you take them out and they're one necklace and they've got all them different layers on i have to admit i'm not the biggest fan of them i much prefer a very simple necklace so i thought on holiday just something cheap so if i do forget it or it breaks it's not the end of the world and that will end this part of the shopping haul but before i go if you watched last week's vlog i did a kind of weight loss video with starting my weight loss journey and all that kind of Thing, all healthy habits and what I'm planning on doing. If you've not watched it yet, check it out. It took a lot to put that vlog out. It really did. I had a few comments and a few questions from family and friends and from here on YouTube about my active wear that I was wearing to do my yoga in, what I was showing like the different parts of my body in. So I'm very excited to tell you that this part of the vlog is kindly sponsored by Silverwind. I'm so excited to be able to talk about Silverwind little bit more so let me get into a bit more detail for you now i really love this set as it's so comfortable to wear it comes in this really lovely little bag which is 100 percent plastic free and handy to keep it in the fabric is made to such a good quality and high standard and the top comes with cups inside it which adds to the comfort and you don't have to wear a bra at the time of filming silverwind have actually launched a new range of beautiful products which i'm quite jealous about because I want one. They also have a wide range of pretty patterned active wear and swimwear available and I just really love the pretty floral designs they have available. If you're not into patterns though, don't worry, they also have a good selection of single colour and block colour designs in stock too. They're also really good but I'm just showing you what I like. As you can tell by the amount of sold out stock, they are very popular. They also have an About Us page which is 100% worth a read. It's very interesting as it tells you all about why and how their products are made this company is all about sustainability and recycling you can also check them out on instagram too and i think more companies should follow in their footsteps to help save our planet so if you are interested in purchasing some of their active wear or swimwear i have an amazing discount code for you which i will leave on screen so make sure that you click the link in the description below pick out whatever lovely bits of active wear that you like and before you check out make sure that you you use my promo code to get you money off your shop if you do end up buying something please let me know in the comment box below what you end up buying so thank you so much to Silverwind for sponsoring that part of the vlog i will be coming back for more before i go i just wanted to say two little things again just a reminder i am going to be doing my q a next week if there are any questions that you want me to answer please let me know but more importantly i just wanted to give a shout out to two of my wonderful subscribers who I just really wanted to mention this week and that is Jill and Helen so thank you so so much for your your wonderful comments last week i was so nervous about putting out that vlog and when i say really nervous it got to the point when i was uploading it on sunday and I, I just i nearly didn't upload it i really didn't i was so worried that people were going to judge how i looked in the active wear that i'd got on i was worried that i was going to do silver wind and injustice with how i looked in it as today society tries to say there is a certain look that we should all have in fashion or certain body types that we should all have and I've always been a bit of a bigger girl I've always struggled with losing weight I like to eat that is just it I just I like to eat I don't like exercising I don't like running I hate the gym but I just I know that I need to lose a bit and as I said 10 stone is my goal 10 stone is the top end of what my BMI is and I don't want to be any lower than that if I get to 10 stone and feel like I want to lose a little bit more than fair enough but I just don't think that I could live a happy life without eating cake and crisps and ice cream but it's just I think now just trying to eat them in moderation instead of eating <laughs> three packets of prawn cocktail crisps in one go. I do do that. 
packet of turkey dinosaurs i mean thank god that there are no longer nine in there anymore there are only seven but i can bash out a packet of turkey dinosaurs anyway i'm just i'm rambling on from where i was heading jill and helen your comments that you put in i am so thankful that you took the time to write as much as you did to go into detail as much as you did and to be as kind as what you were both of your comments actually really made my day and i mean really made my day it made me feel a lot more confident in last week's vlog it made me feel a bit silly for kind of being doubting myself and as I said you, you you really gave me the confidence to be okay no right this vlog is fine and I am just I'm so thankful I'm so thankful to you two and to everybody else for keeping the channel going a couple of other new subscribers have also commented recently saying again about feeling like we are friends there's no feeling like we're friends we are friends and i generally consider each and every one of you my friends i look forward to filming every single week for you guys and i just i love it i love putting the content out there for you showing you different parts of life and just having the support and love back from you lot just makes it worth it so much more. I don't, ex I have to admit, I'm, every week I really don't expect anyone to comment. But the fact that you guys do, oh, is probably one of my favourite things about doing YouTube. Reaching people that I would never normally get to speak to. Just interacting with different people. I love it. I love it so much. So yeah, thank you especially to Jill and Helen. I, I love you guys so much. I love every single one of you also. But please, please let me know in the comments what you think of the vlog, what you think of the haul item you like the most. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet and want to be part of this fabulous community that we have going. Go ahead and whack that subscribe button. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you know when my next vlog is live, which is usually on a Sunday. Thank you so, so much for watching i really hope that you've enjoyed the content and i shall see you for the pack with me and q a time next week so take care of yourself guys Bye bye